Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. How you doing? My name is Vicky and I am a YouTuber and I'm based in Lagos, Nigeria. So guys, actually this video, eh, I wish it was in some other way, not like I wish, that's how I planned it to be. I actually thought that when I'll be in labor, I'll be able to carry my cameras, I'll be able to tell my husband to help me vlog or I'll be able to do things like, it would have just been like my raw bet vlog or something, something like that. But guys, <laughs> it was not it at all. It, it's far from me. This one is just me sitting down to just you guys how the whole drama uh, unfolded, how the whole drama happened on that fateful day and the day before that day. Because actually when it started, I ran mad. I could not even think of my camera. I didn't even know where it was. I, I didn't even care. Like yeah it was like that like I, I cared less about vlogging or videoing or putting it to record because i was in pain in severe pain like seriously so i just went off my head just went off so that's just basically it you understand so this is me just sitting down and trying to gist people how i put to bed like how everything through my labor and everything and everything you know throughout the pregnancy and everything there's been one drama or the other concerning how i feel i felt severe waist pain like my greatest challenge throughout this pregnancy and until i put to bed was severe waist, waist pain and back pain i don't even if i should say back but mostly on my waist and when it got closer to when, when i was nine months pregnant like i couldn't walk far anymore and i feel some sharp pain on my right hip you understand hip bone and it just felt, felt like something was actually piercing me like literally piercing me and then if i walk sometimes it just hooks my leg and i can't even throw my right leg any further so sometimes i just stand where i can remember one incident where i was going to meet my husband somewhere and then i i i, I was thinking i could walk to that spot because it's not so far this is place this is a place we normally go to you understand I, like my sister-in-law's place and then on my way going there with my boys because we said we should just throw down while i exercise it got i went halfway this is not a far journey like it's a stone trip i went when i went when i walked halfway i literally got stuck i could not move my feet anymore i remember the man just stopping by and asking me madam are you in labor do you need help and i'm like no my legs are kidding me and he's like okay let him help me i'm like okay don't worry thank you so very much my husband is actually coming to pick me like he had to drive down to come and pick me from that spot that i was because i could not move my feet anymore so that's just it so on that fateful day of um 17 let me just not bore you guys with long story of how the whole pregnancy drama was i just want to talk about my my labor and delivery story you understand on that day i think on the 17th of january i was with my sister my sister came back from work and i went to her room and we were just gisting while just i was gisting with her we were talking and then already i was having this subconsciousness of feeling wet under in in my private part you understand and then sometimes if i go to check i'm actually not wet because i was feeling and my water is going to burst anytime soon and all that and all that and sometimes when i just if i just go to check nothing has happened so that day i was just sitting on her bed and i was talking with her we were just in, and then i had this wet feeling down there and this one was so real like it was realer than others i normally felt and i'm like no this is normal this is normal me feeling how i used to feel this is just my head playing with me while sitting there i also i was feeling really really pressed too like i wanted to urinate and put out the gist of me the gist and uh, plus the drama of me standing up from the bed and going to the toilet because of my waist pain i just kept enduring and pressing it so i just felt oh okay let me just at some point i felt let me just try my best to get up and go to the toilet you understand when i got up i felt that wow i'm really i think this is not my head anymore i'm wet down there I had to when i went to the toilet after pain i wiped my stuff and i saw something like um, a muko like kata kind of something you guys should, should i say pinkish yellowish or something just a little of it and then i'm like ah, is this supposed to be muko plug or is this supposed is it that my water has broken i said no maybe because i have peed i have waited too long to pee and then my blood i'm um, leaking you understand I said okay let me wipe and go and sit again and then when i went to sit down again with her 
I felt on mother wetness. I had to get up and go to my toilet. And then when I got up, I went to my toilet. My whole pants, my sh bum shorts, which I was wearing that day, was wet. Down there was wet. I had to change the bum shorts. And then I asked my sister because, you know, now since one is pregnant, one doesn't deal with parts anymore. So I didn't have a, a, a sanitary pad or something. I had to ask my sister to help me with one. So she helped me. She brought one to me. And then I started observing myself. I started studying how I'm feeling. Am I having any contraction? Am I, what, how am I feeling? And all that because I've put to bed before and sometimes they will tell you that when you start having constant contraction or when your water breaks you and the contraction becomes stronger this is I, I was like i started studying myself basically so my husband walked in and asked me what happened and i'm like i think my water has broken and he's like really i said yes and he said okay let's keep watching how things will be or should we go to the hospital i said no this is too early because it's it's dripping out little by little you understand so i wore the pad and then i went to bed it was about i think this whole thing started at about 9 p.m and then i went to bed at about past 10 as well uh, while sleeping on i started feeling some contraction not very strong like period period like ki kind of cramp i started feeling that cramp and i was like okay i think i'll soon go into labor and then i slept off during the night i'll feel the cramp not it, it was strong but not so strong not like i was feeling severe pains and all that and then at about because in my area they normally take the light by four o'clock at about 4 30 i woke after they took the light at 4 30 i woke up immediately i woke up i started having the contractions became stronger do you understand it became stronger and i was like ah god what's happening here you know and then it became i started recording because i downloaded an app that is a um, contraction tracker you understand i don't know if i'll be able to insert it on the screen how i was tracking my contraction to see how constant it is or to see the time frame of how 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 short the time or how long the time frame is and how strong my contraction is you understand i started recording it and then from 4 30 it went to 5 30 and then 5 30 the 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 the, the, the space became shorter it, it was giving me like five minutes break when it started at about that 4 30 because exactly at 4 30 was when my contraction they became stronger and each contraction came stronger and stronger and it was getting stronger each contraction got stronger and I I was in serious pain like guys that's why i told you that i could not even remember where my camera was because it was not funny like seriously you know and up to the point that at about Malcolm was like was worried and was asking me should i make you tea should i make you something to drink he went he made tea for me he brought it i could not drink and my head was ah god it was something like the method of me remembering that day that incident that 18th morning the 18th of january morning it's really 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 it's sending shivers down my spine you understand and then I, he went he made tea he brought the tea back and he was like okay let me drink the tea so that we can go to the hospital like me now because my first my other baby when i wanted to deliver him i went to the clinic by 2 a.m and then they checked me i was just 4 cm and then i delivered at about past eight in the night so me i was like no let's not rush to the clinic let's wait until 10 a.m before we go to the clinic and he was like are you sure i said yes that this is just my water leaking when the contraction is with when when i see that it's, it's shorter or when i see that it's serious we will go to the clinic but i think we'll leave the house by 10 i don't want to stay in the hospital so long so i i will leave the house by by 10 a.m actually this was about to six you understand and then after a, after a while it got stronger and shorter my contraction that was five minutes became two minutes and then the next thing is coming like a minute it's not even giving me too much time to breathe anymore it's not giving me too much time to rest anymore i was in serious pain i had i was in pain up to the point i thought of god am i gonna die like seriously is this thing gonna kill me i have to tell because my elder brother is a pastor i have to tell my sister my younger sister to please call my elder brother and then i while I, I, while we are at that i've already told my husband it got to a point i told my husband please let's go to the clinic you understand let's go to the clinic and then while he was preparing for us to go to the clinic trying to bring down my bring down my box and my hospital bag and all that and arranging things so my younger sister was actually dialing my elder brother because i, I needed prayer at that point you understand so while she was dialing my my brother i was like i was on the ground nearly i was in severe pain like serious pain like 
guys you you can't even nobody can ever tell you how painful labor pain is no matter how i explain it you won't be able to really 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 understand what it is to be in labor actually you won't understand the pain except you have put to bed before and you know actually know what that pain is you understand so in my head i was like god i don't want to die let my brother pray for me he's a pastor let him pray for me you understand i need these things to be i need this thing to be short and all that and then all of a sudden so in, I, why my sister just dialed the call immediately my brother picked the call and i heard his voice he just immediately he said hello like immediately he just said hello my water just as in the water that was dripping slowly just got busted i just you could just hear something i don't know if i heard it or it was my subconsciousness it just poof and then everywhere the whole ground was flooded with water the clothes i was putting on was messed up with water like soaked my clothes and then my sister started helping me out to the to the car like she was struggling with me i was struggling and i got out and we managed to get to the hospital coming down from the car to get to the to 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 get to my to the labor ward or what guys it was not funny i was in pain when we got to the hospital we got to the hospital at about i think at, at about five minutes to seven this was these all these things were happening at about past six to seven so we got to the clinic it was not so far from my house we got to the clinic at a, at about five minutes to seven and then immediately we got there and they, they called the the midwife or the woman and told her that somebody is here and the person is in labor and all that and then the woman just came and told me that let's let me lie down let her check me guys this pain was excruciating like it was out of this world like i was dying i was literally thinking i was going to die like seriously guys <laughs> jesus it was not funny actually so she told me to lie down let her check how many cm i am and all that you know how they do these things now lying down was a problem because my labor the pain the contraction were not giving me space anymore it was just as if i'm going to put to bed at that particular point in time so i laid down she put her hand inside like they normally do just super like this and just took her hand inside and then she told me you're 8 cm and i'm like jesus christ are you serious because i wasn't i wasn't even expecting to be that close you understand maybe because of my other my other delivery experience my other um labor experience i was in my heart in my heart i was like thank you jesus so this pain won't last so long but it was painful like seriously jonathan so she checked me and then my husband had to run to the atm and he left me for like um, five or ten minutes thereabouts and i was going through pain i was begging i was literally like a baby begging these people and in fact anything they said to me i'll say auntie please auntie sorry auntie sorry I, I i was i was full of respect like respect for them like because right now in my head i really need somebody to help me it got to a point like five minutes after we got to the clinic i started feeling the urge to push and then when it comes i keep shouting to the woman telling the woman that madam i, I feel like pushing i feel like pushing the woman came down told me no don't push oh. let me let me arrange the the delivery room and uh, don't push you're going to enjoy your civic sabi your civic sabi whatever they call it you understand though i should not push and then each contraction that comes keep giving me the urge the stronger urge to push 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 and i was trying my best actually not to push it got to a point i i was written i told the woman that i am going to deliver this baby right now and then she told me that i should come let, let let's go to the delivery world my husband had to my husband was back from the atm he had to help me for me to walk just a very short from this room to the next room was something else because i was almost delivering on the ground like i i like it was it was that bad you understand we got to that point we got to the delivery room before i climbed on the table before i climbed on the delivery table a very strong contraction came again very strong one that i had to in trying to hold the contraction i pulled on my body like i pulled on my body in this particular i didn't believe when people used to say they pull when they want to push i wasn't pushing i was trying to hold my my pushing like I, but i could not I, I then started pushing and then i pulled on my body because it gives that when you want to deliver it gives that feeling like you want to pull a very hard pull do you understand so that was the feeling i had and then i pulled on my on the ground the nurse now helps me to lie on the table they cleaned me up the contraction came again the woman said i should hold my ankle and look at my navel while i push guys 
you need to see what happened after she cleaned me up and then the contraction came again i was begging her please let me rest i'm you know, i'm in pain serious pain she told me that no that i should push when the contraction come so immediately the contraction came i held my ankle i was trying to look at my navel like she ordered me to do and then i pushed guys i pushed with all my strength and then the next thing i told her let me rest let me rest let me rest let me rest and then she told me that she's seen the head of my baby that where my baby is is not a good place that i should if the contraction come i should get the baby out and then guys to god be all the glory when the contraction came again i was like i pushed with all my strength and then my baby came out so i just gave my baby two push and she came out and she started crying they dropped down on my chest and i was like oh, oh, oh. guys it was a huge relief because even before i put to bed i was begging her that pc there's a way she can help me for me not to have a tear or a cut because i dread episiotomy because i know my experience in the other baby after the stitches it's something else for that thing to heal and when it when your healing process is crazy it's so painful so i begged her as much as i could for her not to ha let me have episiotomy or any any cut actually so after that she dropped my baby on my body for like a minute or two and then they carried the baby and started cleaning the baby up and then she started cleaning me up so guys that is my delivery story like seriously it was a bit dramatic i must have missed out one or two things because remembering the whole thing today or remembering the whole incident that took place again is something that is still feel, still feel as if i'm i want to be in labor because it just makes me cringe like i'm like because the pain is out of this world it is really really out of this world. this is not me saying it to put fear in anybody's body my own labor might be different from yours i might feel a lot of pain and you might not feel a lot of pain but majority of women actually do feel pain in labor so this is something you should you should guard yourself you should get yourself prepared to to experience it so actually she actually cleaned me up and then got me all dressed up cleaned the mess the blood the blood everything cleaned my baby and my husband carried my baby we, we now went to they now took me to the to the ward and that was how i brought my beautiful tiara lua my skylar baby into this world by the grace of the almighty god so guys that's just my delivery story that's how everything unwrapped that unwrapped that day that's how we, we it unraveled that day that's how everything started and that is how it ended to the glory of god so guys thank you so very much for watching my video and please if you have if you're a lady that watched me and you have your own kind of dreadful experience because my own is a dreaded experience it was a two hours 30 minutes labor but it was indeed short short and painful short was short like i, I used to tell my friend that called me i told them my labor was short but short is short it was really short and painful my labor was not so long like my other baby which i labored for over for close to 24 over 24 hours before i put to bed but this one i labored for like two hours 30 minutes and then i put to bed to the glory of god i'm so happy that was my prayer i prayed about it i prayed that god i really needed a short labor please give me a short labor because i was scared of going through that pain for a very long time but that pain literally that two hours 30 minutes i actually thought i was going to die of the pains but god saw me through so thank you so very much guys for watching and if you have your own experience you like to hint me one or two things that happened that day that was significant to you or one or two experience or what you feel i should know about please leave me leave it in the comment section i really love to hear from you give this video a like and please if you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for hit on the red subscribe button oh yeah now hit on the red subscribe button and for those of you who just subscribed to my channel before this video thank you very much guys welcome to the family thank you so much for joining us i am super grateful please sit down relax enjoy yourself because i'm going to be coming with exciting and educative videos like this thank you so much guys for watching thank you so much for supporting my channel i love each and every one of you and i will see you guys in my next video have you subscribed please hit on that subscribe button thank you guys see you guys in my next video Bye bye.